Buckle up, space enthusiasts, because today we're diving into the deep end of the galaxy. There are a lot of misconceptions and lies out there about space, and it's time to set the record straight. From conspiracy theories about the moon, landing to exaggerated claims about the size of the universe, we'll be exploring some of the things you were lied to about space. It's important to explore the truth about space because it helps us to better understand our place in the universe and appreciate the incredible things that are really out there. So, let's blast off and explore the truth about space together. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the first to see our latest videos. The moon landing is one of the greatest achievements in human history, but for some reason, there are still people who believe it was all a hoax. The conspiracy theory that the moon landing was faked has been around for decades, but it has been thoroughly debunked by science and history. One of the most common arguments put forward by moon landing hoax believers is that the technology required to land on the moon did not exist in the 1960s. They argue that the computing power needed to create the special effects required for a convincing fake moon landing was not available at that time. However, this argument is based on a misunderstanding of the technology available at the time. In fact, the computers used by NASA in the 1960s were some of the most advanced of their time. While they may seem primitive by modern standards, they were more than capable of handling the calculations required for a moon landing. Moreover, the video footage of the moon landing was broadcast in real time, making it virtually impossible to fake. If the moon landing had been faked, it would have required a level of technology and expertise that simply did not exist at the time. Another argument put forward by moon landing hoax believers is that it would have been impossible to keep such a large-scale conspiracy a secret, given the number of people involved in the Apollo missions. However, this argument ignores the fact that only a small group of people were actually involved in the moon landing. The vast majority of NASA employees, as well as the general public, had no direct involvement in the moon landing and were not privy to any secret information. There is also a wealth of physical evidence that proves the moon landing was real. For example, moon rocks brought back by the Apollo astronauts have been extensively studied and confirmed to be of extraterrestrial origin. The footprints and equipment left behind on the lunar surface are also visible in high-resolution photographs taken by subsequent missions. Perhaps the most compelling evidence, however, is the fact that the Soviet Union, which was a rival superpower to the United States at the time, acknowledged the moon landing as genuine. If the moon landing had been faked, the Soviet Union would have certainly exposed it to the world in order to undermine the credibility of the United States. The universe is vast, complex, and awe-inspiring. However, the way it is often represented in popular culture and media can be misleading, giving people an inaccurate understanding of just how massive and complex it really is. In this chapter, we will explore how the vastness of the universe has been misrepresented and discuss some of the most mind-blowing facts about its size. One of the most common misconceptions about the universe is that it is made up of just a few galaxies. In reality, there are estimated to be over 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe. Each galaxy can contain billions of stars, many of which have their own planets and moons. To give you a better sense of just how big the universe really is, consider the following example. If our sun were the size of a single grain of sand, then the Milky Way galaxy would be the size of the United States. And if we were to scale up that grain of sand to represent the entire observable universe, it would be over 93 billion light years across. The vastness of the universe can be difficult to comprehend, but there are ways to help visualize it. For instance, take a look at the Hubble Ultra Deep Field image, which is a photograph of a small area of space taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. The image contains thousands of galaxies, each containing billions of stars. This image alone shows just how massive the universe really is. Another way to understand the vastness of the universe is to consider the speed of light. Light travels at an astonishing 299,792,458 meters per second. Yet, even at that speed, it would take 100,000 years just to cross the Milky Way galaxy alone. Finally, consider the concept of the observable universe. The observable universe is the portion of the universe that we can see, given the current age of the universe and the speed of light. It is estimated to be around 93 billion light years in diameter, but it is likely that the entire universe is much larger than that. Black holes are some of the most fascinating and mysterious objects in the universe. However, they are also widely misunderstood. We will explore some of the myths and misconceptions surrounding black holes and explain what we actually know about these enigmatic entities. 
One of the most common misconceptions about black holes is that they suck up everything around them like a giant vacuum cleaner. In reality, black holes only have a strong gravitational pull within their event horizon, which is the point of no return for any object that comes too close. Anything that crosses the event horizon is doomed to be crushed by the extreme gravity at the center of the black hole, but objects outside the event horizon can still orbit the black hole just like any other massive object in space. Another common myth is that black holes are portals to other dimensions or even other universes. While this idea has been popularized in science fiction, there is no evidence to support it. Black holes are simply objects with incredibly strong gravity, and they do not have any mystical or supernatural properties. So, what do we actually know about black holes? We know that they are formed when massive stars collapse under their own gravity. As the star collapses, its mass becomes concentrated in a small area, creating a region of space where the gravity is so strong that nothing can escape it. This is what we call a black hole. We also know that black holes come in different sizes. There are stellar black holes, which are formed from the collapse of individual stars and can range in mass from a few times that of the Sun to tens of times that of the Sun. There are also supermassive black holes, which are found at the centers of galaxies and can have masses billions of times that of the Sun. We know that black holes are incredibly important for our understanding of the universe. They play a key role in shaping the structure of galaxies, and their gravitational effects can be observed in the way that stars move around them. They also provide a unique laboratory for testing some of the most fundamental theories of physics, such as Einstein's theory of general relativity. When we think about the wonders of space, we often focus on the stars, planets, and galaxies. But there is another, less glamorous aspect of space that is becoming an increasingly urgent problem. Space debris, also known as space junk. Space junk consists of all the man-made objects in orbit around the Earth that are no longer useful or functional. This includes everything from old satellites and spent rocket stages to tiny fragments of metal and other materials that have broken off from larger objects. While each individual piece of space junk may seem insignificant, together they pose a significant threat to satellites, spacecraft, and even astronauts. The danger of space debris lies in its high speed. Objects in orbit around the Earth are moving at incredible velocities, often several kilometers per second. Even small pieces of debris can cause significant damage if they collide with a spacecraft or satellite. This can lead to the loss of critical systems and even the destruction of the entire spacecraft. The problem of space debris has become increasingly urgent in recent years. There are currently more than 8,000 metric tons of space debris in orbit around the Earth, and this number is growing every year. To address this issue, space agencies and private companies are developing new technologies to remove space junk from orbit. One promising approach is the use of space-based robots or janitors that can capture and remove debris. Another approach is to use lasers or other methods to vaporize the debris and make it harmless. However, these technologies are still in the early stages of development, and it will likely take many years and significant investment to make them a reality. In the meantime, space agencies and companies are taking steps to reduce the amount of new space debris being created. This includes designing satellites and other spacecraft to be more easily deorbited at the end of their mission and minimizing the use of explosive devices that can create new debris. The question of whether we are alone in the universe has fascinated humans for centuries. Popular culture has sensationalized the idea of extraterrestrial life, portraying aliens as everything from friendly helpers to terrifying invaders. But what is the actual scientific evidence for life beyond Earth? To date, there is no definitive proof of extraterrestrial life. However, there are some promising signs that life may exist elsewhere in the universe. One of the key factors in the search for life is the presence of water. Water is essential for life as we know it, and scientists have discovered evidence of water on several planets and moons in our own solar system, such as Mars and Europa. In addition to water, scientists are also looking for other signs of life, such as the presence of organic molecules. Organic molecules are the building blocks of life, and their discovery on other planets or moons could be a strong indication that life exists there. Despite these promising signs, the search for extraterrestrial life is still in its early stages. Scientists are using a variety of tools and techniques to search for signs of life, including telescopes, rovers, and spacecraft. One of the most exciting new projects in this field is the James Webb Space Telescope, which is set to launch in 2021. The telescope will be able to detect the atmospheres of exoplanets, which could provide valuable information about whether they could support life. 
It is important to note that the search for extraterrestrial life is a complex and challenging task. Even if life exists elsewhere in the universe, it may be vastly different from anything we have seen on Earth. It is also possible that we may never find conclusive proof of extraterrestrial life. Throughout this video, we have explored some of the common myths and misconceptions surrounding space. From the moon landing hoax. To black holes and the search for extraterrestrial life, we have seen how popular culture and media can often distort our understanding of the universe. It is important to remember that space is a vast and complex subject, and there is still much we don't know. While it can be tempting to believe in sensationalized stories and conspiracy theories, it is crucial to approach information about space with a critical eye. We encourage viewers to do their own research and learn more about the wonders and complexities of the universe. Science is an ongoing process of discovery, and there is always more to learn and explore. By staying curious and open-minded, we can continue to uncover the mysteries of space and push the boundaries of human knowledge. That's it, we've reached the end of the video. If you made it this far, you're one of the best people out there. Before you go, make sure to give us a like to let us know you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions that pop into your head in the middle of the night, feel free to leave them in the comments below so we can answer them for you.